Welcome to the YouTube channel Sai Edu Pharma. Today we are going to discuss a topic which is given in M Farm Pharmaceutics subject PCI syllabus which is personalized medicine. This is the part 1 and when you see the syllabus of drug delivery systems subject in the subject drug delivery systems which is MPH 102T the topic is personalized medicine. And in this topic, we have to study about introduction, definition, key aspects, pharmacogenetics, categories of patients for personalized medicines, customized drug delivery systems, then bioelectronic medicines, 3D printing of pharmaceuticals and telepharmacy. In today's video, we will be discussing first three points that is introduction, definition, outcome and key aspects of personalized medicine with exam. What are these personalized medicines? It is also known as precision medicine and actually this is an approach for medical treatment in healthcare in which we take into account the individual's variability in genes, environment and lifestyle for each person because we very well know that these factors they affect the dose as well as the medicine details. So for personalized medicine or for giving precision medicine these factors have to be considered and these medicines they represent a paradigm shift in healthcare towards more individualized and precise approaches for prevention diagnosis and treatment so what we do is in this we integrate genetic information with diagnostic technologies and predictive modeling or analysis and these medicines have the potential to revolutionize healthcare and improve the outcomes for patients around the world. So how you will actually define personalized medicine? It is an emerging practice of medicine that uses an individual's genetic profile to guide decisions made in regard to the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of disease. Now what will be the outcome? Actually, the main aim or goal of these medicines is to provide more accurate, effective and safer treatments by targeting therapies that are very well suited to unique biological makeup of each and every person. So, it aims to improve patient outcomes, minimize adverse or side effects and increase the overall quality of healthcare. So what are the main key aspects of personalized medicine? Basically, we have to study about genomics and genetics, targeted therapies, diagnostics and biomarkers, predictive modeling, patient-centered care, customized treatment plans, patient stratification and challenges and ethical considerations. Hope you have subscribed to the channel Science You Pharma. If not, do like, share and subscribe the channel. So we will study about first aspect that is genomics and genetics. It is the central component of personalized medicine. In this the genetic information is taken to tailor the medical treatment to the individual. It includes genome sequencing technologies by which the genetic variations are identified and according to that the medications are designed. The example is using genomic sequencing to identify BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene mutations in individuals which increase the risk of breast and ovarian cancer. So if you identify them then early intervention and preventive measures could be taken for these cancers. Second example is testing of CYP2C19 gene variants to determine the appropriate dosage of drug clopidogrel which is a blood thinner to ensure the efficacy and reduce the risk of adverse effects. Second is targeted therapies. In this the tar targeted therapies are used which are the treatments that specially target the molecular pathways or genetic alterations associated with particular disease. These are very effective and they have fewer side effects as compared to the traditional ones. Then example is drug trastuzumab for HCR2 positive breast cancer patients where the drug specifically targets 
the HCR2 protein leading to more effective treatment outcome. Next is diagnostics and biomarker. In this, uh, they use the diagnostic tests and biomarkers to identify patients who are likely to benefit from the particular treatment or who may be at increased risk for various diseases. Biomarkers may be genetic markers, protein levels or other molecular indicators that provide information about patient's health status or response to treatment. For example, using PDL1 expression as a biomarker to determine the suitability of drug pembrolizumab for treating certain cancers including non-small cell lung cancer improving the treatment of precision. In this way, using biomarker, we can personalize the medication. Next is predictive modeling. In this, you can use it as predictive modeling or predictive analysis. And in this, the computational tools are used to analyze the com complex data sets and then prediction is done individual uh, and then they predict individual responses to the treatment. So what they take is they take into account genetic, environmental and lifestyle factors of the patients and then they provide more accurate assessment of disease risk or treatment outcomes. Example is utilizing machine learning algorithms to predict disease risk and progression in diabetes patients based on their genetic lifestyle and clinical data obtained, enabling proactive management and prevention strategies. Next is patient-centered care or patient feedback system. This emphasizes a patient-centered approach to healthcare in which the, in which the treatment decisions are tailored to the individual preferences, needs and characterized characteristics of each patient so in this uh, they may involve shared decision making between patients and healthcare providers as well as great involvement of patients in their own healthcare management for example uh, implementing wearable devices to continuously monitor heart rate and rhythm in patients with atrial fibrillation which provides real-time data for personalized treatment adjustments and preventive complications so in this way personalized medication could be obtained next is customized treatment plans according to individual treatment regimens according to uh, individual treatment needs uh, the regimens are developed for example for rheumatoid arthritis patients based on their specific genetic and biomarker profiles the drug choice and dosages are optimized. Next is patient stratification. In this example is categorizing cancer patients based on their genetic mutations to assign the most effective treatment therapies. Thereby they improve the survival rates and quality of life. Next, what are the challenges and ethical considerations? Though personalized medic medicines hold great promise for improving patient outcomes and also they reduce the healthcare cost. It also has some of the challenges and ethical considerations like issues related to data privacy and security, then access to genetic testing and targeted therapies, ensuring equitable distribution of resources and benefits across different patient populations. So these were the key aspects. In next part, we will study about pharmacogenetics. Hope you are liking our videos. Keep watching videos at Sai and You Pharma. Stay connected with Sai and You Pharma. Thank you so much.